Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Seppi and welcome back to a, another vlog that is very long overdue. Before I get into this vlog, I actually wanted to just sit down and talk to you guys about what's going on in Iran. I know I mentioned it in my last video, but I know that my vlogs get more views, so I want this message to reach more people. And I had initially filmed a different intro talking about this, um, but because I haven't had the chance to edit my video, I feel like so much more has happened in Iran that I want to talk about that um, I just thought I would refilm this start bit for you guys. So for those of you guys who didn't watch my last video or just haven't seen anything that's been going on, which I think is really unlikely, I hope it's really unlikely because I feel like there has been some uh, coverage of it um, throughout the world. Um, but in September 2022, a young lady who was 22 years old was killed whilst in custody in Iran. Her name was Masa Gina Amini. She was Kurdish Iranian and um, she was taken into custody for not having proper um, hijab covering of her hair. This is brutal, it's horrible. There's no excuse for it. There's no way I could ever fathom what her family is going through. Um, and all Iranian people around the world are grieving and they have been protesting against the laws towards women in Iran um, and the gender apartheid in Iran. In these protests in Iran, many, many more people have been killed. Young girls as young as 14, seven. Um, I think the most horrible one I heard was a seven-year-old was chanting woman life freedom, um, which is a Kurdish phrase which us Iranians have adopted um, and translated into many languages to try and spread the word of what's going on in Iran. And um, she was shot. There's nothing, nothing that I think um, can describe that. And I, do, I don't wanna get too emotional when I talk about this um, because I want to send a strong message. Personally, I'm English born and raised, but Iranian in my heart and in my culture and my heritage. My parents are Iranian, they were born in Iran. They moved to England 30 years ago and they worked very hard to instill the Iranian culture in me and make me proud to be Iranian. Take me on holiday every summer to see my relatives, make sure I attended Iranian school for 13 years so that I can read and write and speak. And I'm just proud of, proud of being an Iranian and I want to help spread the word of what's been going on. If you're not Iranian, just talk about it, you know? Speak about it with your friends. I have my non-Iranian friends talk to me, ask me what's going on, ask me if, you know, my family and friends are safe back home, if what the situation is like, if I have any updates to tell them. And I think I just appreciate that they care and that they are spreading the word. So thank you so much to all of you who have done so and are even listening to me speak right now. For my Iranian followers and friends, this is our time to be a community together and be strong together and to continue to raise awareness of what's been going on. Um, I'm not here to tell you guys how you should do it. I think everyone has their own way of showing their support and every voice counts. One voice that reaches a million is nowhere near as powerful as a million voices because each of those will definitely reach more than one voice. So. There's power in our numbers and I love you all so much. I will continue the rest of this video as a normal vlog. The main reason is because more people will watch it and more people will most likely hear my message at the start. Also, for those of you who see me still post normal stuff on Instagram, it's literally because of the same reason. I don't know if it's some sort of media censorship or something, but if I post loads of posts about Iran, I'll literally get one tenth of the views than if I post my normal day to day and then in the middle put a post about what's going on in Iran. And I see a lot of other Iranian influencers who have discussed the same thing. Um, Leila Milani, Negan Masalahi, I've seen a lot of them talk about it. And so just bear that in mind. So that's the reasoning behind it. And thank you guys so much for listening to this. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog, which is pretty much just a few days in my life. Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Today is Thursday and I'm having kind of not an admin day, but almost yes, an admin day. It's early in the morning and I am about to leave to go to the hospital that I used to work at because I am going to be doing an audit there. 
an audit is almost a form of like research. It's where we look at um, something that we've done and the outcome of it and then we try and um, see how we can improve the outcome um, or if what we've been doing has been working fine. Um, that's like the simplest way that I can think to put that for you guys. Um, but doctors kind of need to do one every single year in general. I am trying to do more than one because I want to kind of build my portfolio towards specializing in obstetrics and gynecology which is what I want to do in the long run. Um, so yeah I'm trying to do a couple of ONG audits at least and kind of get and get more exposure into the field. Um, underneath this swaggy outfit is my gym gear but look okay these aren't my gym trainers but I just had to throw them on because I was like I can't believe that they match so well with this outfit and then I'm going to put my gym trainers in the car because after I've done some work on the audit I'm going to go straight to the gym, do a workout, hopefully get an appointment for my eyebrows because they are awful. Like I literally had to pencil them in, put some concealer and mascara for you guys for this video because I was like I can't come on looking the way I did when I woke up this morning. It was not cute. Uh, I'm going to make a coffee, feed the dog, head out and then I will take you along with me. So welcome to the life of a doctor in her 20s. This is what I'm up to. I don't know why he's sat in the corner like this. The contents of my bag today is a diary, a notepad that I use to write my notes for um, anything that I am working on, like research, etc. My laptop and another diary. <laughs> um, but the diary that I showed you first, this one. So I got this from Muji. I love this book, by the way. I got it, um, I can't remember, like two, three weeks ago. And I feel like it doesn't start getting good until the first chapter, which is like... 65 pages deep so give it some time or just skip that first bit and just go to like the first proper chapter anyway I went to um, a place called Tiger Flying Tiger and I saw this personal planner and I feel like it's really um, thorough and good if you have like if you're the kind of person who does a lot of things um, I feel like this planner would be really useful for you they've got calendars here and then down the side it's got like trips so if you go to trips, um, you can write like what you want to do, where you want to go, who you want to go with, things that you want to do, and then what to take. And then afterwards you can rate the trip, best memories. I thought that was really cute. Um, the next thing is projects, which is really good for me because we are always doing um, projects in our clinic. Um, so I found that helpful. Then the weekly bit. So overall plan, to-do list, etc. I find that really good. Meetings, because we have our um, Dr. S kind of team. Um, so we do actually have meetings and we do write stuff down and I end up writing it all in my little LV diary, which isn't helpful. So I feel like this was really good. Um, and then the last, second last bit is to-do list. Um, so this is what the to-do list section looks like. And then lastly, it says inspo, inspiration, and it's pretty much, inspiration is pretty much blank for you to write a, whatever you want. So um, I thought it was really cool, and I would show you guys, because I'm going to start using this a lot more, especially in like the business aspect of things, I think it's really good. Um, but in general, if you're like, I don't know, maybe even if you're in school or in uni, uh, or planning to go to uni, this could be really good for you as well, or if you're a working guy or gal, um, I think this could be really good for you. To say that my car is so dirty is an understatement. Ugh. See, every time you switch on your car and it makes that noise, for me, I just think, there goes five pounds of petrol. Um, yeah, I think it really is time to start thinking about electric cars. Yeah, petrol prices and the cost of living in London has become crazy. And honestly, when I first bought this car, it did, I think it cost like, I would say like uh, two thirds of what it costs now to put petrol in it, which is a big joke because, you know, you commit to one thing, you get another thing. Here we are sitting in it right now, but it is a beautiful car, so I can't complain. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's stop rambling. So 
I've just been in this treatment room working on the computer. I got through quite a lot, so I'm gonna leave now to make it to the gym, fingers crossed. Oh my god, you guys, that audit took four and a half hours and I'm over halfway with it, but it was just so much longer than I thought I would spend there because I wanted to go for about an hour and a half and do half of it, but I ended up needing four hours to do half of it. So it meant that I couldn't go to the gym and now I need to get ready um, because I need to go to Central. I have something that I need to return. I think the last day is tomorrow. I also need to pick some stuff up from our Harley Street Clinic, um, which has been delivered there. And then I am going to my friend's birthday dinner and I literally have about two hours to do all of this and shower because my hair is gross. So I'm just gonna go shower now and get ready. Also, how straight are my teeth looking? Um, for those of you who don't remember, Sol started my Invisalign journey for me and I actually am loving how my teeth are turning out and it is like so positively affecting my confidence and I feel like a nice smile is honestly like, it makes you look so much more like pretty <laughs> um, in the, most slash least vain to put it, vain way to put it. Um, but yeah, I love it. So if any of you guys want to get Invisalign, make sure you message Sol on Dr. S Dentistry, or you can just ring our clinic and we can book you in for a consultation. But I love mine. <laughs> So today is Sunday, I've just done my makeup, I had a bit of a lion which was lovely and I, last night we watched Jeffrey Dahmer, anyone who's not watched this on Netflix please don't because I had nightmares all night to the point where I needed to go to bed with YouTube calming videos, like I jumped from my sleep at 2am with nightmares so I played YouTube calming videos and I switched them off when it was daylight, it was awful so if you're worse like me, don't watch it. Sol and I are going to brunch and Sol has a surprise I want to show you guys. It's incredible. Okay, wait. <laughs> Look at your hair! <gasps> I'm so obsessed, so you look like so it? pretty. Yeah. We've got Banksy with us. Banksy's got his fur all over me. We have come to Knightsbridge for lunch. It was so long, to be honest. <laughs> um, but worth it, because I want to try someone new. And it's nice when we have a day off to do something different, but Sol just looks so hot with dark hair. Guys, I dyed it today. I feel like you look a, so much younger with dark hair, Definitely. and B, just sexy minks. And I feel like Persian girls in general, darker hair suits us. Like, it makes me want to go dark hair. Because you know, like Kim K. <laughs> 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 Thanks, he's making friends. Um, yeah, remember, like Kim K. Yeah, Kim K looks hot with any hair colour, but classic dark haired Kim K is the sexiest yeah. in my opinion because it makes her look so Armenian as well so yeah that's why you look 10 out of 2 thank you I'm intrigued to see what's inside this snapping it's like a brioche kind of are you bread. sure? yeah <laughs> And then the police Nice? You haven't even you haven't even eaten. I knew it would be nice before. <laughs> so I've just got back home, hopped into my silk PJs which are very creased right now because I wasn't bothered to iron them before I put them on and washed off my makeup, done my skincare routine. A little bit of blemishes this month because of just my period. Sorry if that's TMI. Um but Overall, I'd say my skin is looking quite good. So, I'll reveal my skincare secret soon. So, I and I are about to jump on a Zoom meeting with our... New hair. <laughs> not with our new hair, with our website designer. Um, we just have some things that we want to update on our website and stuff for Dr. S. 
um, and just incorporate some of our skin month offers if you guys haven't seen on our Instagram for Dr. S Aesthetics and Dr. S Essex we have skin month guys talking to skin month look at my Botox fresh good morning I am gonna go to the gym today is Monday and my clinics are closed on Sundays and Mondays and so what I usually tend to do is either work in hospital or take an admin day on Sundays and Mondays. Um, today is an admin day for me and just like a rest and reset kind of day. Um, so I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna come back shower and then I'm gonna go to a coffee shop nearby and just, just sit down and do all my work there. Um, I just like to be a bit more like outdoors rather than in inside whilst the weather is still good because I know when winter comes I'm going to be less tempted to go out. But here is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Zara jumper. You can't really see but I'm wearing a Zara jumper, Bowen C leggings and night trainers. And I haven't really planned my workout. I think I'm just going to go and see what I am in the mood for. So I had a slight detour and went and got my eyebrows fixed because they were awful. <laughs> so I probably look quite red right now. But I'm gonna do my workout now. So I've gone for like a thicker brow because to be honest, I didn't even pick it, the lady did, but I feel like it suits me. I feel like clean brows make you look put together without makeup. <laughs> it's probably an overstatement, but you know what I mean. Anyway, let's work out. Guys, the waitress I went to didn't have the katsu curry sauce that I wanted to make for dinner tonight. So I have driven to the next waitress because in my area, I think within a two mile, two mile radius from my house, there are about four waitresses and they have like the best like pre-made sauce packets and you can just you can just add some more spices yourself to make it a bit more the way you like but i love that like sauce packets the fresh sauce ones um and they also sell the wagamama one so let me fingers crossed go into this one second time lucky and let's see if they've got it so there's a yo sushi one but this isn't the one that i want ask me one you guys, it is 5, what time is it? 5.05 p.m. It's the end of a Wednesday here at Dr. S. I'm in the Essex branch, lol. In case you couldn't tell from the sign. I'm gonna go home. I'm actually really tired today. Um, there's people looking from outside the shop. I don't want to seem like a freak. There's people walking outside. <laughs> Um, I'm actually really tired today and I'm excited to go home and just chill out a bit. I think I'm meant to meet up with one of my friends a bit later, but I'm going to leave it to him to message me because I wouldn't mind just chilling on the sofa. Um, maybe even going gym, but I, I don't know. I'm just, it's been a long day and it's been raining as well, which doesn't make you feel any more energetic, but yeah, tired. Tired, tired. Just changed. Going to get in the car now and see you at home. Also, in case you guys haven't seen, this is what the Essex clinic, like the front of the <laughs> 